Okay, so I'm sitting in my old one XJ. Um, bone stock. We're starting the mod list, but it's all mild stuff to help it run better. To help the electronics sustain life because the headlight switches are known for burning up or going bad. So I added a case suspension headlight relay kit. Uh, I've got a case suspension one inch hood spacer to allow some of the heat out from underneath the hood. And it also helps clear my cowl and uh, intake that I made. The intake cost me about 80 bucks and it's made from a 3 inch 45 off the firewall into a Spectre air filter into a 3 inch coupler with about 8 inches of 3 inch aluminum tube and then we ran from the aluminum tube into a 90 that goes 3 inch down to 2.5 to fit the stock throttle body uh, I believe I used 5 hose clamps and I drilled the air intake tube to fit an o-ring and use the OEM breather off the valve cover now we're going to go ahead and start this up and I'll let you hear it This is just a, about a thousand RPM which is trying to warm up. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys under the hood so you guys can see what we did. And I'll go from there. So here you guys go. I know it's hard to hear me over the motor. But you have a 45 3 inch coupler into the Spectre air filter with a 3 inch coupler, 8 inches of tube, and then a 2.5 inch to 3 inch 90 and I used the factory PCB so pretty simple left a lot of room in place in the factory airbox and I apologize for the extra noise other than the engine noise it's windy out today oh yeah I'm going to show you the case suspension 1 inch hood spacer So with the case suspension one inch hood spacers, you can see it's, it's just about an inch higher, maybe a little less, it adds about an inch. It doesn't look too bad. It clears the throttle box, or the intake tube, and really it doesn't hinder your view or anything. Just a... So we'll get on the road and I'll show you guys how this thing sounds just cruising. Now obviously you won't hear it as much if you turn the radio up. Uh, I just have the radio off because I want you guys to hear this. Now my exhaust is purely stock. Uh, maybe in the future I'll do a cat back or something, but for now, because the catalytic converter was done at 128,000 miles, we'll go ahead and leave everything stock. And mind you, the truck hasn't warmed up fully yet either. So once the idles and the RPM get settled in, we'll be all right. We'll do a short pull. Sorry about the shaky hand. <laughs> it's not horrible. I mean, I can show you guys what it's like when I turn the radio on. from the cowl, it's a lot more simple and it's actually pulling cold air versus these open air filters that are under the hood. Um, that being said, there are other co there are companies that make these intakes. Spectre used to make an intake for the XJs, but they have been since discontinued. They still make the housing and you can do what I did. Like I said, it was about 80 bucks. Uh, not counting the cost of a three and a half inch hole saw for the firewall. 
Um, I like it. I recommend it. I think it helped out a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure really. The butt dyno seems to say so. Uh, we're going to get around here in a second. I'll be right back with y'all. I'm going to do this from a dig. All right, y'all. Let's do a dig. Do from, all right, take off. And... Mind you, I shut the radio back off so y'all can hear this. It's not too bad, especially at cruising speed. I mean, I'm doing highway speed right now on this back road, so I can carry on a conversation all day. I can even use the Bluetooth on my phone and not have a problem. Um, you can buy the aftermarket kit made by Thor. Uh, it cuts a big ass hole in the firewall, and their kit is a nice design but I didn't want to drop 200 bucks. Um, like I said, all in all, I'm going to do it for about 80. And fairly straightforward, fairly simple. I hope you guys like it. Um, there's a few other tweaks coming soon, so I'll keep the videos coming. And have a good one.